All right, Brush Monkeys, welcome back. Um, this week we're starting in on the Feardman, and there are 24 of these guys, so I'm going to do them kind of similar to the way I did the Hoos Carls. I've broken them down into two videos of 12 guys each, and uh, each one of these videos I'm going to do it, uh, like I said, like I did the Hoos Carls, where I'm doing six at a time. So you can see I've got the six on the handles, and then I've got the six standing by um, waiting to go. And... That's that's how I'm gonna do these guys. I'm gonna paint paint the the batch painting base coats for the first six, and then I'll put the next six on the on the handles and do them the same way. And then I'll go through and do the individual heraldry and their colors, and uh, and then I'll put the next six on and do the heraldry and colors on them. And uh, and then once they're all done, I'll brush on the quick shade dip and uh, when the quick shade dip dries up I'll paint the bases and flock them the mass seal them flock them all that kind of thing same thing I did with the the who's Carl so if you watch the who's Carl video you're not going to see any big surprises coming out of this video it's going to be kind of the same thing um, so yeah so that's how I'm going to do that and I'm going to go ahead and get started on them so uh, we'll see you in a little bit with an update. See you soon. Bye. Alright, update time. Um, I've got the first set of the Norman Feardman uh, batch painting base coated. It's the colors that are going on all of them. Done. And they're looking pretty spiffy. So uh, that's the first six. As you can see, I got the next six up on the handles, ready to go. So I'm going to be doing them next. Um, same thing, just going through and doing all the the base coats for all of them. Um, the same colors that appear on all of them: the skin, the leathers, the wood, the boots, the halves of their spears, the steels. Their um, at least a base coat of white for their shields, for their herald to make their heraldry pop out a little better. Uh, that kind of thing. And then um, when I'm done with that on all of them, then uh, it's time to break out the uh, color studies book. So I have here all the heraldry that I've got for drawn out for the Feardman, them and the second batch of Feardman here. And then uh, I'll start in painting the heraldry on them. Painting the heraldry and the tunics, which will kind of match the heraldry. So like if somebody's wearing a green and brown on their shield, or green and black on their shield, they'll have green and black tunics. That kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, so that's what I've got done so far, and uh, I will go ahead and pause here and go do the second batch of Feardman. The second set of six. Alright, see you soon. Okay, Brush Monkeys, brief update time on the Feardman here. Um, as you can see, I've, well, I've finished doing all the batch painting base coats. Um, and as you can see, I've started in on the heraldry a little bit. Just doing these first two guys. Um, and of course, like, I've got my notebook here that I'm marking off which ones I've done. So I don't... Uh, don't repeat patterns. But yeah, they're coming along pretty nicely. Um, these guys are looking pretty good so far. The uh, bass painting, like I said, went pretty much the same way it did with the uh, with the um, Hoos Carls. And with the Feardman, it's going by as you'd expect. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the heraldry on these six guys. And then uh, we'll do another update, and I'll start in on the heraldry for the other six. Okay, my goal this weekend is to get all 12 of these guys done and get the um, quick shade on them so I can move on to another project that I'm trying to get done by a deadline. So we'll see how that works. <laughs> okay, um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish the heraldry on these guys, and I'll come back and do the other six. All right. Alright, update time again, and as you can see, I've got the heraldry done on the first six guys here, and they're looking pretty good. 
for some reason that purple shows up a little more blue on the viewfinder but I've got the the warlord of the feardman here and his retinue so these four guys in purple here and that's gonna be the front line of the feardman I'm getting ready to take these guys off the handles put the next six on and do their heraldry and um, and then we'll go from there yeah all right so yeah we'll uh, go ahead and finish up the heraldry here and then uh, I think early tomorrow morning I'll put the uh, shade wash on there and we'll be good to go all right, see you soon all right as you can see the heraldry on the second set of six uh, Feardman is done are done what have you um, and they're looking pretty good I'm pretty happy with how they're turning out um, I'm doing these uh, much the same way I did the who's Carls uh, as I may have mentioned already and that um, I'm going to paint the figures up to this quality then I'm going to coat them in the quick shade dip I'm probably going to be brushing it on rather than actually dipping them because of the length of the spears. And the spears are also kind of fragile. I'm kind of afraid I'm going to break one off in the can if I try to dip them. So I'm going to brush it on. But I'm going to—I just finished painting the tunics and and uh, under tunics and what have you and the shields. And so I want to let this dry overnight. Um, it's also almost 11 o'clock at night as I'm recording this, and I've been up since midnight of last night <laughs> so I'm coming up on almost 24 hours uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop this here let these dry and then uh, first thing in the morning I'm gonna go ahead and put the quick shade on them and then after that dries I, I'm going to paint the bases and then matte seal them so that's why the bases aren't green yet um, the other thing I'm going to do a little differently with these guys is, as you can tell, the bases the, on the figures are a little bit bigger than the than the 25 millimeter bases. Like this guy's on a 25 millimeter base, and you can see these guys have quite a bit bigger base. Um, so, like with the Hoos Carls, none of them got tufts or anything; they just got flocking on the bases. Um, these guys, I think, I'm going to put tufts on at least every other one um, I've only got like 15 tufts to go on 22 Feardman so I, I may come up with some different tufts I may have some different uh, ideas for that but but they're gonna get a little more built up in the base uh, I think they're gonna get a little more on their base uh, in addition to just the flocking so I'm going to go ahead, uh, like I said, and pause here and uh, go to bed. Um, next time you see me, these guys will be quick shaded and be drying up. So I'll see you soon. Bye. All right, brush monkeys. The um, the Norman Feardmen are all now uh, shade washed with the Army Painter Quick Shade. And they're looking pretty good. It's going to take two days for that to fully cure, uh, 48 hours. So I've got them off to the side so I can do other stuff on the on the workbench here. Um, tomorrow, uh, after they've sat here for about 24 hours, I'll probably paint the bases. And then after they've cured for a full 48 hours, then I'll mat seal them, glue the tufts on, flock them, all that kind of stuff. And uh, we'll, we can call these guys pretty well done. Um, they're looking pretty good. I, I really like the variety of heraldry I've got on these guys. Um, and this is all, all of these shield designs are actual Norman shield designs. They're all um, historically accurate. I researched them all before I started painting them. So, uh, so that's uh, uh, an added bonus. So if you're wondering if any of those look kind of weird, that's, that's an actual period design. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pause here, and we'll come back when they've dried, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, see you soon. Bye. All right, just a quick update time for you. Um, the the uh, quick shade dip has cured enough that I can handle the figures and pick them up and all this kind of thing. Um, 
still not quite cured enough that I would trust matte sealing it yet so I haven't done that but they have cured enough that I can pick them up and paint the bases which you can see I've done here um, so that's done uh, hopefully tomorrow is the you're supposed to leave this stuff for between 24 and 48 hours um, I've left it for 24 hours and had uh, cracks appear in the matte ceiling when I'm, I spray it on there so I'm going to wait another 24 hours um, obviously it's been 24 hours and it's set up pretty good but I'm gonna wait until tomorrow I'm actually gonna wait probably until Tuesday because tomorrow's my night to cook but um anyway uh, Tuesday I'll will matte seal them and then we'll get to uh, putting the flock on the bases and uh, then we'll call them done so they're coming along pretty nicely as you can see they look they look pretty good they're kind of shiny right now because they still haven't been matte sealed yet and the the uh, quick shade dip is kind of glossy but yeah otherwise they look pretty good so just wanted to give you a quick update and then uh, when we come back they'll be matte sealed and we'll put the um, put the flock on the bases and the uh, tufts so see you soon bye all right brush monkeys we're back and as you can see I've got the Norman the first batch of Norman Feardman all nice and uh, matte sealed and they're looking pretty spiff liking how these guys are turning out so far so now we've come to the part where I have to put the flocking on the base I've got my flock here I've got my Elmer's school glue it's just plain white glue PVC glue depending on where you are what it's called um, and the procedure for this is exactly the same as it was for the who's Carl so if you want a step-by-step -step, see how to do it you can go back a couple of weeks and watch the who's Carl video it's really not that complicated basically all I'm doing is I'm painting school glue onto the bases and then I'm gonna dip them in here shake off the excess and they're done um, I'll probably leave them overnight to dry and the next time you see these guys they'll be completely finished all right all right, so I'm going to go ahead and, and pause here and go do that. And then, uh, like I said, the next time you see these guys, they'll be done and we'll wrap up the video. All right. And see you soon. All right. I am back. And as you can see, the Normans are done. And they look really good. I'm really happy with how these guys came out. The uh, I did glue the tufts onto the bases. And you can kind of see them on a few of these guys. Uh, obviously these two guys their bases are too small so I didn't put any tufts on them but I put tufts on all the rest of them and the stuff I used was the uh, army painter uh, battlefield XP swamp tufts and uh, these these look really good they're uh, they're kind of a well you can see they're kind of a medium green which is fantastic um, I think on these guys it kind of blended in with the base a little bit more than I would have liked um, kind of see if I can zoom in on this guy to show you see there's a regular flocking and then here you can see the tuft and it just looks like a really unless you catch it at just the right angle it looks like just a really tall piece of of uh, tuft or a tall piece of flocking like a lump of flocking in there and there's a, a lot of them are like that here's another one See, it just kind of, the color of the, the tuft kind of blends in with the flocking a little bit. And it uh, didn't quite look exactly the way I'd hoped, but it looks really good. They look really good. Um, I might, on the next one, the next batch, I might use the same tufts. I might change it up a little bit and use some of the flower tufts, just so the tuft shows up a little bit more, but not so much that that it looks out of place with these guys because this 12 and the next 12 are all supposed to be part of the same unit so you kind of want them to look like a cohesive unit even though they're all sort of individuals that's why we're doing all the bases the same to kind of tie them all in as a single army but yeah so that's how that goes um but yeah these guys are looking really good and i think i'm going to go ahead and call them done and i'm going to go put them with the other finished normans and bring the last unit of Feardman over here so next week I'll have another palette cleanser miniature uh, another Reaper Bones figure and then the week after that we'll get into the 
second batch of Norman Feardman. So I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey Brush Monkeys, uh, Tom from Flying Monkey Studios here. If you like what you see, click like. If you uh, want to find out when uh, new videos get posted, click subscribe. Comment below on what you want to see on future videos. Visit our Patreon site for uh, lots of ways that you can support me in doing what I do. You can also visit our Instagram and Facebook pages to see all the miniatures that I paint on this channel and see how you can get your hands on one of your own. Uh, so thanks a lot for your time and thanks for watching my videos and I will see you guys later. Bye.